Hi, I'm Alex, and you are watching Game Audio Lookout, a series for music and sound design in games work. In this episode, we'll deconstruct one of the incredible musical stages in Rayman Legends. I've never seen something like this in a 2D platformer before. When I played the level Castle Rock, I was immediately hooked. Rayman Legends has found its way into many best platformer games of all time lists. Though it closely fails to beat the uncrowned King Super Mario, it found a safe place next to the Nintendo mascot. The Rayman series was created by French game designer Michel Ancel and started in 1995 with the 2D jump and run Rayman. It was followed by two 3D platforming games, Rayman 2 and Rayman 3. But the series went back to 2D side-scrolling with Rayman Origins in 2011. Origins was also the first Rayman game using the UB Art framework which also was adopted by the 2013 release Rayman Legends. The art style of Rayman Legends is gorgeous with colorful graphics. This makes playing the game feel like being in a cartoon. One of the game's level designers, Chris McEntee, states in a game developer's conference talk that we're constantly thinking about the rules and the constraints that the artists have given us with the artwork they've created and trying to use it to our advantage rather than seeing it as something that's holding us back. The game's incredible music was composed by Christophe Herald. The instrumentation of the compositions is very interesting as he uses whistling and went with the ukulele as one of the soundtrack's main instruments. The compositions can go from calm and relaxing songs to epic orchestral music as seen in the stage Creepy Castle. But it can also change to energetic band music when you are running against the clock too. The soundtrack was recorded with real instruments, with the use of quite uncommon ones. Composer Eral even used a cello played like a bass guitar for the music used in the game's stealth-like levels. It was hard to choose the music stage we'll take a closer look at here. There's the hard rock medieval theme Castle Rock we've seen in the beginning. The second music level is an orchestral piece. But in this episode of Game Audio Lookout, we have a look at the third musical level called Mariachi Madness, located in World 3, Fiesta de los Mertos. Mariachi Madness begins with a short introduction to the rhythmical concept of the song. You are presented to the musical piece, which is the cover of Survivor's Eye of the Tiger. This version features a ukulele and classical guitars as main instruments. To get you into the level's flow, you only have to get lumps on every accented guitar stroke of the song and you have no threats or obstacles to tackle here. After that, the first true obstacles appear in the form of worms and centipede-like creatures. Here you have to attack the top row of enemies in time with the main accents of the guitars in the music. In the next phase, you have to jump onto the main beat of the music to stay on one of the two worms without the spikes, as you can see here. In phase 3, a new element of the level's design appears. There's chains you have to rapidly switch between in order to avoid pink spiky balls. Take a look at the number of chains and the placement of the lumps. There's five of them, just like in a musical staff notation, 
and the lumps even seem to be a depiction of the individual notes of the solo guitar playing in the music. In the next phase, the chorus's main melody kicks in. It is played by a kazoo ensemble. And you can see enemies with trumpets and even trumpets that shrink and unshrink the player. The climax of the level is also the climatic ending of the song's chorus. Here, Raymond is repeatedly canoed through the air by those trumpets. After that, the most difficult part of the level starts as you have to rapidly beat a line of enemies, once again in time with the music. All in all, Rayman Legends has an impressively versatile set of musical compositions in a lot of styles. Because of recurring use of uncommon instruments, like the ukulele or the kazoo, this fits nicely together with the cartoony look of the game. In its prequel Origins, a toolset called the UbiArt Framework was created to be able to connect game design with art and music. According to composer Christophe Eral, the senior sound programmer of the team even had to build a whole system of synchronization between music and level design. Rayman Legends even turns into a mixture of a 2D platformer and a rhythm game in those wonderfully crafted music levels. According to interviews, the creation of these levels was pretty tricky, as the music had to be synced to the gameplay just like in movies or TV shows. On the building of the music levels, Raymond creator and project lead Michel Ancel said, If the song is repetitive, you're doing the same thing over and over in the game. Eye of the Tiger is perfect because you have events and beat changes. The best is when the song goes up and down or the guitar slides, because then the character can slide. Thank you for watching. Feel free to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel. What do you like most about Rayman Legends game music? Let me know in the comments. Looking forward to see you again in the next episode of Game Audio Lookout.